This video will show you how to install Visual Studio Community 2017. Visual Studio Community is an open source software development environment by Microsoft, which will actually work on multiple operating systems, different operating systems, for instance, Windows and uh, Apple's and Linux. Um, on the Apple iOS or on Windows or Linux, the system will function properly. And there's a newer version out called 2019, but we're going to go ahead and do 2017. In order to get to that version, I've gone to the visualstudio.microsoft.com slash vs slash older dash downloads slash website. And then I just expanded 2017 right here. And I click on download. And this will begin the download process of the 2017 version. It'll want you to sign in using your Hotmail account or whatever Microsoft account you've set up. And after you sign in, if you don't have one, you can just go create one on that last screen. And it will take you to the page where we can actually choose uh, the product that we want to download. If you want to download it for Mac, um, we want the Visual Studio Community 2017 version 15.9 right here. And this one is actually showing you how to install in a Windows operating system environment. Um, so in this case we're just going to come over to here, don't do the trial version. Uh, professional, we want the Visual Studio Community. Click on download. And the application should download. It says a uh, message down here. Just go ahead and click on keep and it will begin to download this file to your system. Once it's done downloading, and this is not the full install, go ahead and click on the up arrow and click Open, which will begin the install process. You might have to click on a Yes button, and um, if you see this window, go ahead and click Continue, and it's gathering all the information it needs to do the actual download and install. As you can tell, this is Visual Studio Community 2017. The .NET Desktop Development. This allows you to create uh, desktop applications. You can also create desktop applications using C++. This allows you to create uh, Windows platforms, universal applications. If I clicked on that, um, you would actually see different types of packages that you could make. You could do .NET Standard and um, choose which version of the software development kit we want to use. And this is our core editor right here and would also want to work with that. We want to actually go ahead and click on the ASP.NET Web Development. So let's go ahead and make sure that we had our Universal Windows Platform Development checked. But we also want the ASP.NET Web Development checked. And then these are the options that you can create with it. We also want to go ahead, and after we click on the ASP.NET Web Development, come over here and take a look at the different things that it's installing. It's installing the .NET Core and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. Leave all these checked. And um, we could go ahead, if we wanted to, and choose other .NET Frameworks. And in fact, I'm just going to check all of those .NET Frameworks. And we've already got our .NET Core 2.1, so we don't need the 2.0 or the 1.0. So make sure you have those checked. And then we also want to click on Azure Development. 
make sure Azure development is checked. You can scroll down and look at different things that we need, but we're fine. We have everything already checked that we want now. If we want to develop in Python, we can do that. If we want to develop in Node, I could click that. Go ahead and click Node Development. Other things that we can do, we want to make sure that we click on Data Storage so that we can work with SQL Server and Azure. If you wanted to do analytics, you could do that. Create SharePoint applications. If you want to do mobile, you could do that. Game development. Lots of different things that this tool will actually do for us. Um, the .NET cross-platform development. Let's go ahead and click on that also. So what you should have clicked then is .NET cross-platform development. Data storage and processing. Node.js. Azure Development, ASP.NET Web Development, Universal Platform Development, and then if you need to go back and look at those different um, options, you can do that too. And then once you're done, click Install, and that will begin the download and installation process. And I'll come back after we get closer on that. So as you can see, this is going to take a while, so we might as well go get a uh, bag of popcorn and Netflix while this continues on. Hopefully the install went correctly and you saw a screen like this and it says that it's installed, Visual Studio Community 2017. Um, there was a check box marked that said go ahead and start Visual Studio, so if I go ahead and close this installer down, you'll see that Visual Studio started. Now don't be nervous if you don't see all of these projects. These are projects that uh, I have in the past, older projects. And it's just the start page. So this now says Visual Studio is installed. You're ready to go. If you don't want that start page, you can just close it. And this is the product. And that's how you install Visual Studio. We'll be using this to create our ASP.NET MVC websites. Uh, doing core and if you have any questions let us know